Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to another episode of my Oblivion for Mod Organizer tutorial series. I've been getting a lot of questions in my comments about archive and validation, and this video is going to clarify everything to you, or at least I hope it is. So the three main questions that I've been getting about archive and validation is what is archive and validation, why do I need archive and validation, and how do I install archive and validation? I can pretty much answer the first two together since those answers are pretty much intertwined. Archive invalidation is something that has to be dealt with in Oblivion modding because without addressing it, textures may not be properly applied to meshes. Now what do I mean by that? If you have a mod that adds custom textures, for example, the skin texture in the character creation overhaul, which is why a lot of people will see the install blockhead sort of message, and that's probably one of the biggest places I get questions about archive and validation. Or if you're just using something like Quarrel's texture pack, and um, for example, a bridge doesn't have the high quality texture that something else has. The reason these textures are not being applied is because archive and validation has not been addressed, and the game thinks there's something wrong and is just applying uh, kind of a blanket default texture. Now I don't want to get into the technical details. The why you need to use it is because without it, some mods won't work. And since it's very easy to install, there is zero reason not to use archive and validation. If you are having problems, make sure you have archive and validation, because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to troubleshoot your problem, since I will have assumed that you've already done this step. Now that I've gotten that all out of the way, I can show you how to install archive and validation. It's actually very easy. I'm going to show you two methods, just in case for whatever reason one of these methods is giving you some trouble. The first method we're going to use is directly within Mod Organizer. All you have to do to activate this version of Archive and Validation is to launch your Oblivion Mod Organizer, click on the Profile drop-down menu, click Manage. From here, select the profile you would like to select. In this case, I'm going to use the Zool profile. Check off Automatic Archive and Validation, so there should be a check mark next to the word, and click Close. It's pretty much all you had to do. If we go back into this, we'll notice that the check mark stayed there. We have Automatic Archive and Validation. To double confirm this, you can go to the Archives tab and you will notice a grayed out option labeled Oblivion Invalidation.bsa. By the way, if these aren't grayed out, it's because you don't have Mod Organizer managing the archives, which you should, because just, just trust me on this, that's just what you need. Now, something that I have heard from some people is that even when they do this method of archive and validation, they're still getting problems. Um, and that's because of the file structure here and some little quirk with Mod Organizer. I'm not even sure if this quirk still exists anymore, but I'm going to show you a workaround for it anyway. Uh, basically, archive and validation should be directly under the word data. It should be at the top of this list. Unfortunately, you can't move it. The simple solution is, while well, keeping everything else in order, simply just move everything down. So we're just going to do this. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, Oblivion Invalidation is now at the top of that list. So you should have Archive and Validation. However, some people may be having problems with this method of Archive and Validation for whatever reason, and because of that, there is a tool we can use called Archive and Validation Invalidated. This is a simple software utility that you are going to head over to the Nexus. Um, you can see uh, the link will be in the description and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to download this file manually. Don't download with Manager, download it manually. After your download is complete, you will have the installer version recommended of Archive and Validation Invalidated. Uh, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take this executable, I'm going to open up my Steam, Steam Apps Common Oblivion folder, this is your default Oblivion folder, I'm going to drag this in here, I am going to copy it in here just because then I will never have to download it again if for whatever reason my Archive and Validation stops working, this is not a necessary step by the way, and then I'm going to run the executable. From here, it's going to give you this little spiel about installing things. You can go ahead and click Next. Uh, you can either accept the licensing agreement and sell your soul, or you can do not accept and then uh, just, you know, use the one in Oblivion Mod Organizer. Hit Next. It's going to ask you where you'd like to install it. I would like to install it directly into my Oblivion folder, so Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion. I'm going to hit Next. It's going to ask me if I would like to install it or uninstall it. I am just going to install it. I'm going to just check off this button that says to delete the archive and validation.txt. Uh, this is a necessary step. I can't quite remember why off the top of my head, but trust me on this. Then I'm going to go ahead and next, and I'm going to hit the install button. 
After that, it's gonna quickly install things and finish. And if we launch our Oblivion for Mod Organizer again, uh, I think we may need to restart the program because we installed a new BSA. If we go to the archive section, you'll notice that archive and validation invalidated .bsa has been placed here. And I'm just gonna check that off. And if you'd like, you can move that to the top, but I don't think it really matters. If you're having problems, you can just sort of either move it to the top or the bottom, but that's how to install archive and validation. So that should hopefully answer all your questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in a comment below. Thank you very much for watching my video. I've been Zool, and I hope that you have an excellent day. Yeah.